Good morning everybody. I'm doing another batch of my soap and I'm naming this soap as Vitamin E Skin Nourishing and Moisturizing Bar. Okay, so as you can see I've already prepared my recipe before I start my soap making. Okay, I've also finished preparing for my lye mixture. The liquid that I, that I used is, of course, it has to be, per my recipe, it says 350 grams. So what I did for the liquid is 250 grams of distilled water, plus I added 50 grams of cranberry juice, and then I set aside 50 grams of cranberry juice that I will put or mix together when I reach a light trace. Okay, so after all the soda, caustic soda flakes has melted, I will just set this aside for an hour to cool to cool down to its uh, to normal room temperature. Okay, now you're seeing all the oils that I will be using in this particular project. Okay, I have the sheet butter sunflower oil pure coconut vegetable oil of course my olive oil pomace palm olein canola oil jojoba oil and castor oil I also have the cocoa butter now the she butter I will use this later for the super fatting okay so I'm gonna use she butter as 5% super fatting for this particular project okay next step is of course weigh all the oils required for this particular recipe and blend them together now, of course, with the she butter, you will have to warm this so that you will uh, you you'll be able to melt this uh, this oil, and it goes the same with our cocoa butter oil. So you have to warm them first, and then, of course, without the she butter, you may incorporate all of them in one container. There you go, I have placed all the oils that we need in this project in one container. So the only thing I need there is the coconut oil, uh, I mean the cocoa butter that I am warming. Alright, here's the cocoa butter. I'm still melting it. So we're going to wait for that and when everything has melted i'm going to put it inside in the container where all the base oils are all right i am now melting the she butter but we will use this later when we reach the light trays on our soap mixture okay let's go back to our to our soap making I still have here the cranberry juice that I set aside a while ago and then I have here I'm going to try using chocolate as my scent so this is a chocolate essential oil and then I will also put some vitamin E and also 
here are the mixed based oil okay. and you may be wondering why I have three containers here the reason is I'm going to try a swirl so I'm going to use three colors to make a swirl okay you'll see later Okay, I'm now preparing my mold. Of course, before you start your soap making, be prepared with your log mold, if you are using your log mold. Now, if you are using a silicon mold, then you don't have to worry. After this, I'm going to line my mold with a wax paper. Then, we're ready to make our soap. I also try to baste my mold with vegetable oil, but I'm using I, I usually use grapeseed oil for this. I just love grapeseed oil. Then you can now put your wax paper. Okay, our mold is ready. Our lye is ready, so it's now time to mix the lye mixture that we prepared an hour ago to our base oils. Okay, now you may mix it by hand or manual mixing. Once the oil and the lime mixture incorporates, you can start stick blending. Okay, it, it will turn into opaque like that. As you will notice, our soap mix mixture now turned opaque. Okay, it's a bit creamy. It's very important for you to check the streaks of oil that may be present at the bottom of your container and also on top of your mixture. Okay, now is the time to mix the cranberry juice that we set aside earlier. Okay. And mix. Okay, as you will notice, you now reach a trace. Now is the time to put all the other ingredients. You may also put in your super fatting oil. This is the she butter. And also the vitamin E oil.
this oil is very thick. And lastly will be our super, not the super fatting, but our chocolate essential oil. Okay, so we now achieve a creamy consistency on our soap mixture. Later on, I will blend the colors that I plan to use for this soap. You might be wondering why my soap mixture is already in the mold. Well, because of time constraint and my soap mixture is actually a hard one. It traces really quick, so I had to do it very quick so I wasn't able to document it. So as you can see I have here I have here so right after I showed you that I already put all the other ingredients and that our soap mixture is ready for pouring in the mold on in the mold. Yes, I I I equally okay put some of the soap mixture in this for in the three containers remaining a portion of the original soap mixture so I used green colorant here yellow colorant here and a pink colorant somewhere here so I plan to do a swirl but since my soap mixture traced really quick I wasn't able to do that so what I did is just I did as much as I could to layer my soap and here it comes so we will just check out tomorrow what happened with my soap okay so I'll see you tomorrow guys have fun soap making God bless you